We continue our coverage of IDEF 2025 in Istanbul. We are now on the large booth of the Research and Development Center of the Turkish Ministry of Defense. They are showcasing two new projects for naval applications. The first one is a heavyweight torpedo and it features a pretty impressive uh, range uh, typhoon. Yes, Xavier, uh, these products are one of the surprises of IDEF because nobody had no idea that they have been developing something uh, for naval applications. Uh, this is a new torpedo project by the MO, Turkish MOD and as far as we learned it has 100 kilometers of range because uh, it's propelled with a silver oxide battery which enhances the range uh, significantly and it has uh, it features uh, a warhead uh, of uh, 1000 kil kilograms uh, with thermobaric explosive which is rare for underwater applications uh, this torpedo uh, features active passive homing uh, guidance and um, but uh, it's not a wire guided torpedo as far as we learned uh, from the officials here and uh, the project is ongoing and uh, it is uh, scheduled to start live sea trails within six months and it will, uh, if the project is successful, it will equip the Reyes class and the Mildem class? Yeah, it's, it's, it's possible because it's a fully indigenous uh, weapon. So if it uh, achieves initial operational capability, we uh, expect to be mounted on uh, Turkish submarines. And so again, this is just... Uh research and development center they have factories to develop and do some tests they are not a mass producer however so the mass producer of torpedoes in turkey is rocket sun yes yes rocket sun in in turkey uh generally rd centers uh, develop a solution and after it uh, gains uh, operational capability, uh, they relay the project to the relevant defense company. And Roketsan, of course, is the mass producer of missiles and torpedoes in Turkey. And here we saw their booth, they're showcasing the lightweight torpedo and the new heavyweight torpedo. Uh, yes, uh, they do. Uh, you know, Akia torpedo is currently in the inventory of the Turkish Navy and uh, it's going to be mounted to. Turkish submarines, uh, Rocket Sun is still at mass production uh, process and they also showcase uh, Orca lightweight torpedo. It's still under development as far as we learned from Rocket Sun officials. Uh, they will keep developing the torpedo uh, with the experience they gained uh, from Akya project. All right, thank you. So as Typhoon said, the engineer said, this is fitted with a one ton thermobaric warhead. This is quite unique, especially for underwater use. It's the first time I hear about thermobaric use underwater. And actually behind us, uh, Typhoon is another interesting project that uh, this uh, R&D center is showcasing for the first time. It's a uh, well, surface and underwater drone project, kamikaze drone, because it is fitted with the same warhead, one ton thermobaric explosive. Yes, uh, unlike the torpedo, this is a conceptual design. Uh, this is an, an unmanned surface vehicle. It's semi-submersible. It can dive into the water and um, it, it can uh, conduct patrol duties as well as uh, one-way attack or kamikaze uh, missions it can fulfill. Uh, it, ha it, is, it is also fitted with uh, one ton of warhead. Uh, it's, or thermobaric as well and as I said it, this is a conceptual design it, uh, it's it's not approved yet uh, but the torpedo project is different very well Typhoon thank you very much my pleasure you're welcome